Welcome to Wine Chats with Bildo and Lindelin. My name is Billy Milovanovic, aka Bildo. And my name is Lindsay Kirkwood, also known as Lindelin. And this is an offensively funny podcast about drinking wine and chatting life. Hope you enjoy. We're back, Bill. Are we Hi. excited? Everybody want to see my butt clench? <laughs> Is that not talent? Like, seriously, I've never looked at my butt when I clench it. Can you look what your butt muscles just did? She knocked over a sign. I How have come in with a bang today. Oh, my God. You didn't even set the sign up right. Billy. Well, Lindsay, where were you on that one? Um, Welcome know. back to us. <laughs> <laughs> have you missed the shit show of Bildo and Linda Lang? Right. It's been, well, actually, to be honest, you haven't really missed us because we've been releasing yeah. episodes this whole time. But we have missed each other. Yeah, we we were very professional. We pre-recorded. But we've been on holidays. We have. So our brains are even more fried than normal. Which is good. <sighs> sure. For this episode. We're starting a whole new month, umbrella topic month of just ranting and raging because why not? Why not? Oh, I am so angry about so many things. I can't wait to get into it. I'm confused okay. about the topic in general. She, Lindsay will, here we go. I don't understand it. So each month, for those that listen and watch, will know that we have a, an umbrella topic, right? And then under that umbrella, we have little raindrops. For each episode. That's it. You're so poetic. Like a- <laughs> so each little raindrop uh-huh. for episode will be a topic that is relatable to the umbrella topic. And today's raindrop is about? Like socializing is stupid. Because yes. like I, we're homebodies, we'll yeah. get into it, but we're going to rant and rage about like how we have to socialize when we don't want to. Yes. Okay, so that does that make sense? Are you following along? I'm I'm here okay. for this drain drop. And also I'm just always <laughs> ready to like rant about anything. So yeah. let's do it. And we picked, this is our last wine from Cedar and Pine oh, Bar. I know. Which we thought was very appropriate because her labels are freaking funny. This one, in case you can't see it, and for those listening, marriage, the number one cause of divorce. Love it. Which is so funny. They're so funny. I love all those labels. Yeah. I think you can actually even have your own labels printed up. Yeah. Through them. So, I don't know. Check them out. Cedar and Pine Bar, Instagram, um, yeah, the internet. Oh, the internet. Now, we're having her rosé. Yes. We're probably going to rant and rage about that because neither one of us <laughs> like rosé. Not because it's going to be a bad wine, but we just were not fans of rosé. Do you know, I was going to someone's house yesterday. Um, hi, Sumi. Um, and oh, hi, Sumi. Thanks hi, for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, don't ever invite Lindsay. It's going to be awkward. Um, <laughs> And she, so I called them on the phone and I was like, do you guys want, like, what do you want to drink? Because uh-huh. I'm getting beer. And then they were like, oh, what about a rosé? And I was like, what Ew. about a no? Uh, yeah. And Ew. I refused to get it for him. <laughs> so that's how we feel about rosés. Oh, let me hold that for you, Lenny. Oh, you're so kind. I love that she gave me so. Look at this. Look at how she poured hers <laughs> and look at how she poured mine. She has much more. Do you, yeah. you know, um, well, I'm just, yeah, there. No. I had to, oh, I'll be drinking more because Lindsay will be talking more. We, cheers. Cheers. We could be surprised. We might actually like this because honestly, the color is very lovely. It is very it's lovely. It's a nice peachy, rosy color. Mm-hmm. It's actually really lovely. It's nice and cold. Like a Sav Blanc with a bit of a, what's up? Nah. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. It's just It's the rose. It's yeah. the rose. It's got nothing to do with you, Cedar and Pineco. Um Ba. Cedar and Pine Ba. I'm sorry. See, already the rose <laughs> is doing its thing. <laughs> Twisting up my tongue. Well. Look, I'm sure it's it's quite nice. It is crisp <laughs> for those that like rosés. It's crisp and refreshing, but it does have obviously it tastes like it's rose. rose, yes. What more do you want? That's it. Okay. Let's get into it. Lindalyn, what has happened to you and Mm. why uh, do you just not like going out? Like, what's your problem? Well, God. Okay. Says Says Billy, who's like, oh my God, I made plans and I don't want to go. No. Okay. So backstory. You and I are so similar with certain things and so different with a bunch of other things. Yes. (laughs) But this is one thing that we're quite similar. Yes. We love the idea of going out. Oh, that's why I... Like I would book in a million different things to do. Yeah. But it's that moment of actually having to go and do it. Then you're like, why did I book this? I don't want to go out. I'm not like, I don't want to 
put the effort in and it's effort and it's effort and it's effort and we're tired and you just want to be on the couch in your pajamas like it always seems like a really good idea when you do book it in right but then really yeah it's just it's not something I'm ever interested in actually doing when the time comes because we're more home bodies and couch potatoes like you know honestly we are but uh, then I also don't want people coming into my couch space either so it's like oh no you know no so it's like there's just no good solution to socializing Okay. That's why the internet's kind of good for like us homebodies because we can ignore them and we can get on them. Yeah. And, like, you. Is she, I, I've forgotten about Billy's little, little. I was going to say, why are you still letting me talk? L- I don't know. But like her little past she leads us on. Like we did a story <laughs> earlier or a reel and like it just went in a direction. I should have been prepared. It's Billy. But I was just sitting there going, okay, wow, here she goes. <laughs> Following along. Nee, 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 nee. Lindelin, nobody needs um, to rant about you right now. Go on. No. So lately, so first of all, we're on school holidays. Mm-hmm. So our minds are already set oh, in lazy mode, right? 100% island time. 100%. We're the type, we're fortunate enough where we don't work, have to work through school holidays. Yes, thank goodness. Yep. So we're totally in lazy mode. Yes. Don't Pajamas bother me. all day. Only soft cup bras. <laughs> Absolutely no wire in sight. No makeup. <laughs> oh my God. Do you mean all of the above? Yes. So I've had a few different social engagements. (laughs) Like proper ones. Proper ones that I have to go to. And the thing Mm. that's made them even worse is that they're not my friends. They're Cameron's friends. So, right? Like, I I don't listen to this. Um, Well, if they do, don't invite me. I'm happy to not be included. Just invite Cameron (gasps) next time. And I think that's a fair enough thing. Like, I think it's fair enough to be able to say, do you know what? I actually just don't enjoy doing these things. So why do I have to? Like, wouldn't you want me not to be there and everybody just be in a good mood instead of me being there and me just like... Well, but the thing is, I'm not in it. When I'm there, I put it on. Well, no, I'm not fine. (laughs) Remember me messaging you? I'm not fine internally. Oh God, I felt so bad for you that day. Can I just, this is a Linda Lynn story. So just bear with me. So shut the fuck up. I gotcha. Yes. Well, not you for the people, for you that are listening. Not you, Billy. But yeah, shut up. So I can tell my story. Let's go. So Cameron, we got invited to this wedding. Now, the groom is the son of a guy that Cameron knows throughout his work career, right? Okay, groom is the son of a guy Cameron knows. Yes, through work. And he's known the father for a long time. Right, And he's met the groom, but he has more of a relationship with the father. So we're like that invitation, right? Right, yes. Yes. I have never met the bride. Oh, God. Cameron met the bride maybe once, maybe twice. How often have you met the groom? Oh, like maybe three times. And not in a social setting. Right. He was here with his dad doing work on our house. Oh my God. So like, we haven't hung out. Right, yeah, yeah, for you to be at his wedding. Right. Because I think weddings are an intimate time. They are. Right. But you know how you always like invite like some of the parents, friends, and like Cameron has, anyways, anyways, we get the invite. I'm like, oh (laughs) God, fine. And the thing that really got me crotchety to begin with is it's way up in the mountains so it's like an hour and a half away Uh Cameron wanted to drink fine I don't want to drink so I had to drive so he drove there I had to drive home no Right? And no. already I'm like, I'm going to be too tired. No. It's going to be late at night. If you are going to take me to a wedding, yeah. who's like, who's, I don't even know the bride, yeah. I'm getting at least a little tipsy. But see, this is the thing. You know I, I mean? didn't want to get tipsy either. I just wanted to be miserable internally. And just but that's why you get tipsy. Yeah. And that's what I was yeah. trying to say to you in text because we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But I was kind of saying to you, like, just get drunk before mm. he can. Have yourself a great yeah. time. He's dragging you up there. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, anyway. I made the deal with him. Yes, sure. And said, yeah. oh, I'll drive, babe, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we, neither one of us were like super keen to go. So we get dressed, we go. It's a beautiful spot, like yeah. stunning. Up in the mountains, yeah. gorgeous, overlooking the hinterland, whatever. Yeah. It is fucking freezing. <sighs> yeah. Up in the mountains. Uh-huh. They should have put on the invitation, like maybe brought grab a jacket bring yeah, a jacket yeah. it's going to be breezy and is that cold. assumed when you're in the mountains that it's going to be cold i don't know well, uh, look, i don't know yes but no because w- maybe we should have googled more into the venue but it we didn't know like were we going to be in a marquee sure, was sure. it an actual building yeah 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 we didn't so what know. was it it was a marquee uh, with, which is outdoors like it's uh, indoor yeah outdoor. it was very drafty <sighs> and they didn't 
close all the doors because the bar was set up outside of the marquee. Oh, God. So people going in and out, it was a nuisance. So they had the doors pinned back. And like when I say it was windy, it was fucking windy. <sighs> yeah. Like freezing. People actually ended up putting puffer jackets on oh inside God. the marquee. So you didn't bring a puffer jacket? I forgot it. Right. <laughs> yes. So the dress I chose was literally <gasps> like see-through. It was a see-through um, dress with like a, a, a slip underneath it. Oh God. So it was like me literally being naked. They're like it was... There was no warmth to it whatsoever. Oh my so god! I was <laughs> miserable. I can't. On the inside, not on the outside. You're on, on the, the outside. outside. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I have a sweet little podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to it. You'll hear yourself being mentioned at this oh wedding. Oh <laughs> my god! Right. So we make it through, and we made a pack. Cameron and I were like, as soon as we can leave, that's acceptable. Yes, we're out of here. Bounce. Right bounce and you took the kids as well so like you were no like, oh, oh you didn't take oh, the kids no 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 the kids oh, were with goodness. the grandparents oh, thank god good, yes thank oh, god. god no yeah. no no yeah um so <laughs> the speeches are going right and then they're you can't leave mid speeches that's rude <laughs> well not when someone's actually up speaking don't do that but and i don't even know if i told you this part of the know. story so the speeches are going but then they take a break and then the bride and groom walk around yeah. and you know and then they start another set of speeches and stuff so we're in between two lots of the actual speeches right okay but they're not fully done yet right, right. so sure. the bride and groom are making their way around and they come over and chat to us so we're like sweet we after can this. leave right after yeah. we chat to them totally we can leave so dinner was a steak i gobbled it down <laughs> as we're talking to the bride now if you know me you'll know that i have poop stories right <gasps> no so as I'm talking to the bride, no. my stomach just goes no. and drops. No. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And so I'm looking through the marquee no. to where the one toilet is that is a porta, not a porta loo, like a fancy porta loo, right? How many people? Oh, like. A hundred, some like it was. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a decent size wedding. Yeah, yeah. like so I mean, if you're invited, it's a decent size wedding. It, exactly, yeah. Yeah. decent size, not a Greek wedding, but decent size. So there's one boy, toilet, and one girl. They're right and beside Lindsay each was other. Was about to ruin everyone's life. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So I'm like thinking, okay, it's far away. Like you have to Stupid. walk. And there was a whole bunch of people outside of it because there's a lineup constantly because there's only one fucking toilet. And I'm talking to the bride. No. So I'm like, you can do it, Lindsay. Your poop muscles are going to be fine. Just clench. Oh, and walk. God, that sounds fucking awful. So I politely excuse myself. Oh, you, just, you literally had to leave. Oh, but then Bill, what, to go stand in line? Yeah, because Bill, you know my, my, my system. Like, turn me down if this grosses you out. But like, when I have to go, yeah, I have, have to, to go. go yeah. Like, I don't have the luxury of like, for it to go back inside. You know what I mean? Like yes. Cameron can poop, have to poop for hours. Generally he, speaking, I can hold mine in as nah, well. No. Yeah. No. Fuck. So I politely excuse myself and I start walking down towards the pod, little potties, whatever the fuck they were. And there's a whole bunch of people outside just chit chatting. And I'm like, ha, 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 what are you guys doing? I'm like, why are you standing outside by the toilet? Like go move so I can go. Boom. Right, because they would hear, like I knew what it was going to happen. Like I knew what was about to happen. Oh so I'm like, God. they are going to hear everything. Yes. It is going to be mortifying. Even so, the dump and flush wouldn't really work because once it it's wasn't, like shooting out of you. It wasn't water dump and flush, Bill. It was like you had to pedal but on the floor. So like you couldn't even oh, like maneuver your body. And worse. <laughs> yeah, to be able to, d oh yeah, no. my God. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, I know. Thankfully, they bugger off. They got my like, <laughs> why are you guys out here? Like hint. Well, also hint. You're sending us out the toilet at a nice wedding. Like go send somewhere right? else. Gross. So I sit down and it was just a big oh. fat fart. <laughs> <laughs> Which there is nothing wrong with. Farts are healthy. Yeah. But I think I told my system too. Like, okay, it's just a fart. Like, that's good. We can live with that. Whatever else is up in there, you just fuck off. We're not doing this Stop. here. Stop. It would have been mortifying. So it was just the fun. Okay, just nothing. Oh, God. You could have let that out while the bar was there. Just very slowly, like, no. seeped it out. Oh, no. Can you imagine? No. no. You poop yourself? Yeah. <gasps> so I mentally told myself, like, no, it's that's all that is coming out. So I walked straight into the marquee, and I said to Cameron, all right, babe, let's go. Like, Thanks, babe. Yep. We're done. Because yep. I didn't know what else was going to happen. 100%. We got in the truck, cranked the heat. 
Yes, because sometimes I, the cold as well. The cold makes yes. my body need to poop. Yes, 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 yes. right? Uh huh. And we made it home an hour and a half later. <laughs> Did you poop when you got home? No, because I had to like keep talking to Cameron to keep my mind. Because <gasps> like, you start getting the sweats yeah. and the shakes. Yes, yes, right? That is the fucking worst. <sighs> okay, I think we all need a break. <laughs> I think we need a break. A break. Oh my God, I took up <laughs> so much time with my poop wedding story. But socializing sucks, right? <laughs> Lesson is, Billy, just don't make plans and don't get invited to weddings. Oh my God, don't make plans for sure. Yeah. I 100% agree with that. Actually, I am I was the worst flakiest person ever. I just kind of feel like I said, like it seems like a good idea at the time yeah. and then it comes to it and I'm like, I don't want to do this. And so I cancel. Mm-hmm. And the excuses are always so bad. Mm. You know, like, oh, yeah. I have a headache. Oh, I forgot I had some other plans. Oh, or something. And then I get Awkward. back on my couch. Yeah. And yeah. we all know I'm lying. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. most of the time you know you're lying. But do you know what I always say to Cameron? Because he lies a lot to get out of things. I'm like, why can't you, like, just be honest. Unless if it's something really uh, important. Hi, I really don't want to come to your wedding. Um, well, don't no, really know but you. that's what you said. Might poop myself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really want that at your wedding. Are you going to have more than one porta potty? No, but that's it. Like if you can, obviously a wedding you yes. have to go to. But if you can get out of it, why not just say, look, I'm really not up to it. I'm going to have to pass tonight. Like, but if it's- How awkward. Oh my God. I don't know. I, I, I agree with you. I actually, because of yeah. that, I've started to just say no to things I actually don't want to yeah. do. Yes. Like I've realized now that there are always just going to be things that I don't enjoy doing. Yeah. And so I've had friends, like some of the Yugoslav friends. Oh my God. Mm. They invite me to concerts and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I used to be like, yeah, I'll go to concerts. This is a great idea. Let's go, guys. Yeah. And then I get there and I'm like, I hate this music. Yeah. This is awful. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like I've done it a couple of times where I've flaked out before we yeah. got there. And then a couple of times where I'm like, no, I'm not going to be a flake. I'm going to go to this thing right. that I committed to. And then I go and I hate my life. Yeah. So now I've actually decided to say to them, if they invite me, I'm like, you know what? Actually, just don't like that sort of stuff. Totally. Don't enjoy it. Yeah. Don't want to go. Yeah. So I agree with that. I think before you make the plans, if you know you are one of those flaky people that mm-hmm. actually just doesn't want to do that stuff. Just, just don't try make the and be honest as oh. much as you can before you make the plans. Yes. Don't make the plans. Yes, yeah. Don't make because yeah. flaky people suck. Yeah, oh. they do. My, I'm, I'm really flaky. My mother's really flaky. Um, <gasps> really? Oh yes, yes, the flakiest. Ma- yes. <gasps> we went camping over this last weekend, and um, you know, a month ago she was like, "Oh, I want to come camping. I'll come. Great." Mm. I'm like, "Absolutely, mum. Let's go." I knew she wasn't going to go. She knew she wasn't going to go. Yeah, yeah. And so she was like, "Okay, well, send me the link, and I'll book myself in." And I was like, "Mum, I got you. I will book you in." Okay. All you have to do, like, when it comes closer to, we'll tell you what to pack. We'll prepare yeah. everything fine. But, like, don't worry about booking anything. Like, yeah. I got you. I didn't do shit. And a week later, she was like, oh, baby. Oh, no. You know, not I coming. don't think I'm going to go. Oh. And I'm like, great. I didn't do anything anyway. On purpose. So, because I know. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, just, like, just yeah. don't commit to things you know you're not going to do. Yeah. But anyway, there is such Ooh. a thing. Oh, sorry. That was really sudden. <laughs> that was sudden for me, too. Apologies to you, listener. <laughs> if you had if you just your pods. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let's all just take a drink and calm oh. down. No, it's just you, Billy. <laughs> We're all fine. But there is yes. such a thing uh-huh. as actual social anxiety. Yeah, right. Which I feel like maybe if I was, because we're all so like, just could not wait to talk about my anxiety again. Yeah. Um, You know, I, I think maybe I developed a bit of social anxiety there as well, along with all right. the other shit. And I then had a friend who I went out to dinner with once because I didn't flake and she didn't. And she was saying as well that mm. she gets really like stressed out and nervous when she has to go out. Like if she makes plans with people, even that she knows. So in the sense of like, she just doesn't want to be out like because she's a homebody or she gets stressed out actually being out in public around people. I think it's the latter. Right. So okay, I just yeah. think they get nervous about yeah. they, the people with social yeah. anxiety. Right. Get nervous about, yeah, yeah. It's not like, it's not as simple as like, like you, you in the sense that like, oh, I just don't want to do it. I can't yeah. be fucked. I would yeah, rather exactly. stay home. Yes. This is actually like, oh my God. And here yeah. are some emotional and behavioral symptoms of somebody who suffers with oh. social anxiety. Are you ready? Strap in. Oh, strap it on. Let's oh. go. Oh. Um, Lindsay Gross. <laughs> fear of situations in which me- you may be judged negatively. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Well, that makes sense. Right? And like worrying about embarrassing or humiliating yourself like Lindsay like did pooping. this past weekend. Yep. Like nearly pooping your pants. Intense fear of interacting or talking with strangers. Yeah, that's a real thing. I get thing. that. That's a real thing. Yeah. 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 I don't have that with strangers. I actually no. feel like I'm quite I chatty. say dumb stuff. You do. I say dumb stuff. You do. I want to say no, you don't, but you do. No, not, I do. Not every time. Even Henry it, knows. Yeah. 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 It, it can get a little awkward. It's so weird because something happens to me yeah. where I just, my, it's like my <laughs> internal brain switches off it's so and then funny. something else just switches on and I just go <laughs> and there's no stopping it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and sometimes even yeah. as it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, what is wrong yes. with you? Stop. But I can't. Yeah. Yeah. And I've gotten better at controlling it now that I know that I get really uh-huh. weird. Yeah. So I think when like in situations where like Lindsay and I go out, a, how and we've talked about this before. How amazing yeah. we have each other! Totally. Right? Oh my god! Because yes. going to social events yes. alone, yes, for anything would just suck. But yeah. like going with your bestie and you've already yeah. got this thing established, and like I can bounce off her fun. Yes. Yeah. Because if you were to send me into a situation by myself representing wine chats, yeah. <laughs> we would lose all the sponsors we don't have. <laughs> like, I just could not trust myself. I really couldn't. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it is much easier together. Yes. Yeah. Uh, fear that others will notice that you look anxious. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, but I never thought of it that way. But yes, makes sense. Yeah. Poor, oops, cheers. Ding. Cheers to that. Uh, Fear of physical symptoms that may cause you embarrassment, such as blushing, sweating, trembling, or having a shaky voice. Oh, yeah. So I guess if you're talking, you're really stressed out, and then that thought that you will stress out makes you stress out more. But again, like I didn't think of it, but uh, it makes complete sense. Yeah. And all of those things, it's just a vicious circle, it sounds like. Right? Yes. And like, I think if you have more than like one of them, because you could have yeah. like one and that's kind of, not it's okay, but like I think when it's like a combination of a bunch of them, like of course you're going to be stressed out going outside of the house, right? Um, avoidance of doing things or speaking to people out of fear of embarrassment. I think we did all that. Uh, uh-huh. Avoidance of situations where you might be the center of attention. Imagine Ooh. being a bride and you have social anxiety. I'd be staring at you. Well, lots of, yeah, I mean, you know? it happens. It yeah. happens, of course. Imagine being up on a stage and everybody's chanting, wine chats, wine chats. <laughs> and we have to go out on stage. Of course, you'd be a little bit nervous. Of course, you'd want to poop first, you know? <laughs> a few times. Right? <laughs> or oh, analysis of your performance and identification of flaws in your interactions after a social expectation. That was a lot of long words. <laughs> that was- um, I think so. And I'll wrap it up there. Uh-huh. But oh, goody. Yes. I uh-huh. think this is the thing that I felt most uh-huh. in my social anxiety was that I know sometimes I say weird things. Yes. And so in social interactions, I would be talking, but at the same time thinking to myself, oh my God, how does it sound? Am yeah, I right. saying dumb stuff? Yeah. Are they judging me? Am I, you know, and then I'll walk away from that and then like a day later be like, oh my God, when I said that thing about that thing mm. and it would just play in my mind over and over and over again yeah and that's the thing that like really like shakes you out yeah. of like wanting to go out again because yeah. i'm like if i go out i'm just gonna say dumb stuff again <laughs> where mine just purely comes down to pure laziness i just yeah so this is the difference right <laughs> yeah, between like yeah, actually i'm just and you know just yeah being a homebody well i have to pull up my maybe i'll wear poop control undies to my next <laughs> wedding because cameron's been invited yet again <laughs> to another wedding although it's one of his like oh, actual people getting married like, I know it's, it's like, it's like I'm 10 t- years I'm, past that I know right are these second marriages now no oh they're first oh, there you go I know I still have a little bit of like like um youth to my world right yeah <laughs> um just a glimpse I know a glimpse. it's like don't invite me to weddings either <sighs> I wasn't done my story can we I don't put- know if I want to go to weddings anymore oh. I, I, I don't know <laughs> just, okay. I guess it's like Food and yeah. oh well, I'm going to a wedding actually in January. Okay. Oh, who oh, is this? My story now? No, um, it is now. Well, get back to me, maybe. My yes. stepsister's getting married. I'm going of to Perth. Of course, yes. See, but that's a wedding you want to go to. Yes. Like that's your family. Totally. Like that's that's, that's, that's different. That is exactly. totally different. Yes. True. And it's going to be lovely to see your dad and your stepmom. Oh, again. it's going like to be like my big fat Greek wedding. I can't wait. My right? big fat Yugoslav wedding. It's going to be like abundant and everybody's going to be so plump. So many potatoes. So and many bread. potatoes. Oh my god. So much skin. It's going to be great. Yeah, what are you going to wear? Something slutty. Because, you know, you yeah. people like to like it's show up. things up. It's true. It's yeah. true. I'm going to have to work on my slut. But anyway, <gasps> you, you can wear on. that black dress. <gasps> I could wear that black dress, but it's a little gothic for a wedding, do you think? I actually have I'll a different black now. orange dress. Oh, okay. I've shown you before. It's I've only worn it once and um, I haven't been photographed in it yet. So <laughs> Okay, it's Kay. safe. <laughs> but we're safe. Mm-hmm. Okay, so back to me. Oh, yes, yeah. you were talking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, so back to this next wedding. Yes. Cameron, it's one of his actual good friends from high school. Right. So he's getting married. I've met the bride twice now. You met her at least. We had to go to her hen slash... Right. What is it? Hen slash um, bucks? Is it a bucks here? Oh, they did it together one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Is it called the bucks here? Bachelor and bachelorette party. No, the boy one. Yeah, bucks night. No, the... Do you guys call it a Bucks yeah. or is that Canadian? I, sometimes I get confused. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, I don't know. Bucks seems very familiar to me. Either way. Those you days. know what I'm saying. So they they celebrate them. themselves yeah. before they get married. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. I'll just like hide off in the like distance amongst all these people, right? Sure. Because I was like, my mom had just gotten here. <gasps> I'm right. Like, I don't want to go out. Like, no, whatever. Why, why could, okay, 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 okay. Why did you have to go? 
Well, I said that to Cameron. Like, well, I couldn't Cameron? But I do know the groom. So, like, I, I, it's, again, one of those things where it's, like, you kind of have it's to. It's kind of socially expected, isn't yes, it? Yes, and this is what I mean yeah. by why we're ranting about it. Like, these are situations that you can't say, oh, I have a headache. Yeah. Like, you have to go. Put yeah. your big girl panties on and you have to go. Or you could chuck a sickie to your husband as well. Like, the whole situation, just fake it right up. Just go all out. That would be a lot of work, though. And like then you don't even have to have sex after, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh my head is no. so sore, yeah. babe. <laughs> is he and he's like, that's he the same looking? thing. Yeah, exactly. He's like, opposed to every other night, like, duh. So we go, yeah. but it was an intimate, there was eight of us. So I couldn't like, just like oh, hide Lindsay. in the background and oh. just sip on my wine and be yeah. like, this is horrible. Yeah. I made it through. Good job, Lenny. We did our thing. Another wedding is next weekend and we get to go to another wedding. Yay. And what's really annoying me, and I love the groom. I right. really do love him. He's Great. a he's special a friend. friend to Cameron, sure. longtime friend. I love him. I'm super happy that he's found happiness. The bride seems lovely. I'm sure. all for it. And this is a very selfish thing to say, but my mom is here and I just, it's taken up two Saturdays. Yeah. That's huge when you only have like six. Yeah. yeah. And I know that sounds really petty and selfish, but like, I don't want to so. waste them going to a wedding in a box. Um, I'm normally on okay. Team Cameron, whatever yeah, it, of that course. team is oh doing God, at yes. that particular time. Uh -huh. um, but in this situation, yeah. I 100% agree. Right? Yeah. Especially because your mum is here. If your mum wasn't yeah. here, this wouldn't even be a conversation. No. We would be annoyed that we have to go out and do social things. But in this particular case, I actually feel like you are... Like your ranting and raging is warranted. And do you know what makes it even worse? That you're right and you actually have a reason. Oh, 100%. Because my mom was like, when I'm over there, you and Cammy go away for a weekend. Oh, yes. And we're like, fuck yeah, like sweet, let's book it in. I mean, my in-laws are great. They would look after the kids, but it's a whole different ball game. So when and my mom- your mom wants to see them. Yes, she wants to spend, wants to spend that whole weekend. Exactly. Sure. But with the weekend, with the wedding and the Bucks Hens night, we are not able to do that because we have other things planned on the weekends that we can't get out of. So now Cameron and I don't get to go away. So you know what, Cameron? You won't get your dick sucked. That's your problem. Huh. Because we're not going right now. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Gangsta. Fuck your dick. Oh. oh. Um, no, <laughs> no, that sounded doesn't. really weird. No, no, no. Back that's that funny. up. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so Billy, that's just Sucky. Okay. Yeah. I have no weddings coming up. Nobody invites me anymore because we're all old now um, and married. Um, and I just don't want to go back to work and to school and all that. That's that's I all my know. ranting is about, really. I just I just yes. want to be yeah. what I said in the story or in our reel that yeah. we posted today that Lindsay didn't realize was going the way I was going. Yeah, I, I just don't want to have to work or study to be smart and rich and beautiful. <laughs> well, like, you don't I just have to want be, to. You are already beautiful, Billy have to work hard to be beautiful i massage my face every day i know that's a tell. lot of work Look at those okay brows thank you <laughs> um sure i just <laughs> really just wanted to be given to me for free for not yeah. doing any uh -huh. like any work at all which obviously as humans we can't do because we're here to learn lessons and we have to experience things and wank 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 see she's but taking us down one of these paths again i'm just Great. saying it would be really nice yeah. if we just got it all for free like next time yeah. I come back in another life i'm uh -huh. going to come back to like free earth where we just come show up we're abundant as fuck and we just like don't have to suffer at all. Look, if you're birthed into the right family, you, you would have all of those no, things. No, you don't because then you develop drug problems because you're so <laughs> bored and your parents yes. don't pay attention to you and Consuela <laughs> had to raise you and like you just get so like upset about other dumb stuff. That's even dumber to get upset about. Like so don't true. tell me you're yeah. a fucking drug yeah, addict because yeah, mommy yeah. and daddy didn't uh -huh. hold your hand. Like fuck yeah. off, dude. Oh, whoa. Like seriously, you want to rant about that? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, okay. um, so I think I'm going to uh -huh. really enjoy this month. Whatever, yeah. whatever raindrop Lindsay wants to throw at me on that day. <laughs> I should hope I'm there to pick it right up and I go with it. I will give you lots of warning, my precious little bit. I mean, a little bit. bit is fine, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Are we That's done? It. I think we're done. Okay. You have <laughs> taken us down lots of fun paths. I've told you how I've nearly pooped my pants. <gasps> That's a great story. It's, what that more could we want in an episode? Right? Okay. So go hit the button. Bill. Are you going to let me? And this is for you people oh. um, still uh, listening we were, for our listener. We well, no, I just no. want to oh, see yes. if um, anybody would be up for us doing a philosophy month where I just bore no. Lindsay. <laughs> no, I am sorry. I just want, well, like, you know, I had the listener here with us. I just wanted to no. see if I had any support no. in no. terms of like even just 
telling you, like, what is life about? Like, why are we really oh here? My God. Like, why is she so angry when really <laughs> should have just been a nice... Okay, bye. I'm out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this latest episode of Wine Chats Podcast with Bulldo and Lindelin. You can find us on our socials on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And you can listen to us on any favorite podcasting app or watch on YouTube. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, review, comment, send us some love. We absolutely love it. Chat soon. Come on, Lenny. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. No, chat soon. Come on. Okay, we'll add in chat soon at okay. the end. Yeah. Both of us? Yeah, go okay. on. Chat soon. soon.